So welcome to the fifth season of my first challenge to take Cambridge United to win the Champions League. As usual, before starting, we a quick uh, summary. So the first four seasons, we were in League Two. We were promoted, we won the League One, we won the Championship, and we finished the seventh in the Premier League and also reached the EFL semi-final and the profit increased from 6 million the first season to 10, 188 and 350. So now let's see season 5. I start with a, a budget of 66 million, negative profit because I've done some contract adjustment already. I have uh, so far an 82 rating which is not very satisfactory given my progress, bugs in the FIFA game. If I look at the objective, focusing on the medium, there are some uh, youth uh, objectives to hire four players in the academy and to have uh, some of these players to play at least 30% of the games. And then the most important is the brand exposure. It's a high and I need to win five games in a row and to sign one crucial player that I can do in midfielder or forward. Take a look at some my career. So far I played uh, um, with one club and I won two league championship and league one and uh, I have uh, uh, played 235 games with 131 wins so let's look at the team so I have a solid starting 11 as I said in the previous uh, chapters I think this team itself is already capable of winning the Champions League still they need to grow one two years more and then they will be unbeatable. Already Esposito is there, is an 89. So this guy will be one of the best, world's best. And then I have Wirtz, is still an exciting prospect, 21 year old. So he has also potential to get to 90. Same for Bellingham, he's a 21 year old, exciting prospect, so he can get there. And Gilmore is the weakest link. He's a 22 year old in 83. I think he will grow still three, four points. Um, so this is the one I'm targeting probably to replace this year to with a, a, a real star if I can get the bargain and the money to do. And, but I will still keep Gilmore as a backup because I want to have more rotation this year. I need a few reliable backup, not, 20, not the full 11 uh, B team uh, as, uh, at those levels, but I need a 3-4 critical backup 80 plus. And then I have Cabral, that is a product of my youth academy, and he has the potential to be special, so he's a 90 plus, and he's still uh, 83, he's only 20 year old, so that's great. And then I have a solid defender, I have two wing backs, 22 and 23 year old, Test and James, 85 and 84, so this will become some of the world best in that role, and then the also two uh, central back, now they are 22 year old each, but they, are, they were exciting prospect, which means they should get to the toward the 90s. Same for Van der Waard. So I think a great team. And then what I need to do, I have in the, especially in the seven backups, Jorgens and his great potential. I let it mature to 180. So he's a reliable second goalkeeper. <coughs> Nets is already 80. His potential is finished, so he will not grow much more. I may consider to uh, inject a second uh, right back with a higher potential to grow. Uh, Valera is 22 year old, maybe we'll change him, otherwise as a backup he can play and Musa has great potential so it makes sense to keep him so he keeps growing and when I, I sell him when he gets to an 80 something and his potential is finished. And then I have an uh, exciting prospect in Arena Perez and Serrano instead. I will sell him, I will move uh, um, Gilmour at this place, if I can get the star starter. Then Acuna is also another exciting prospect, but I'm missing a striker, backup striker, to let the exposure to breathe. I had uh, Sholton, but unfortunately this exciting prospect this year lost all his potential. Sometimes it happens, don't sell them, loan them out for a year and see if they get the potential back. He's still young, no rush to sell it. So my objective for this transfer window is to get a star midfielder, then get as a promising, uh, high potential uh, backup as a right back, 
and Striker. These are my daily transactions, plus I will scout for some uh, bargain like free agents and stuff like that. But I need to sell also a lot. If you look at my hub, I have 48 players, the maximum you can have is 52, and you should always leave a, a slot of 5, because sometimes you have an urgency to hire someone and you need to leave a few slots. So in general, my strategy is 11 starters, 11 backup, 20 youth players, and five free agent bargain that you, you get for free and you sell within a year. The transfer window is closed. Uh, just uh, three games played, two wins and a draw. So I'm already in orbit the Champions League. So if I look at the starting team, the big news is that I got a second striker, Bumbu, with the 83, but what is more shocking is I got him for free. He was a free agent and uh, he has the potential to be special, so he's a 90 plus, unbelievable lottery. And then what else have I done? I did, uh, as I said, I will buy, try to buy one star every year, and so I managed to buy Valverde from Real Madrid. He is a ranking 90, it's one of the world best. You can go see my Valverde. I have uh, still uh, 45 players, by the way. Yeah, one of the world best. He's worth 158 million. And I bought him by trading in uh, uh, one of the free agent that was worth 28 million. And uh, I, I paid an extra sold. I bought this because Alverde was uh, in one year contract left. Whenever a player has only one year contract, they will sell it at face value without any premium demand. I bought back this guy. I sold it a year ago for to Hertha Berlin. And again, he was uh, in a spiring contract. So I got him for a bargain for uh, only 30 million and he's worth 44. Then I got this central midfield, the Vranks is an exciting prospect. I just bought him, negotiated very hard. I traded one of my free agents and I paid for 20 million. And then I got for 9 million only, Johannesson. And from Inter I bought Dicci. I sold a couple of uh, big players. We can go into the, the transfer. So I saw Gilmore to Real Madrid for 80 million. I paid 32 million francs plus Battalini, which was a free agent. Dinky for nine. Couple of minor operations. <coughs> See, this is the guy I just bought for 22 million plus one of the free agent I bought. So I always have a promising. 18, 20 year old normal contract is all for the youth potential. But then I'll, I have a search for first in quality. We only one year con on contract. I have the world class uh, standard search, but also I have a fourth uh, search uh, template. Is world class uh, 62, 24 with one year of contract. The winter transfer window is closed. We are at the beginning of February, and let's see, first of all, standing. My objective is to get into the Champions League berth, and I am first. I am leading the Premier after 25 games, uh, with quite uh, a run, uh, 16 victories, 6 draw, and 3 defeats. Fortunately, in the FA Cup, I've been uh, yeah, kicked out. Yeah, I lost 4-1 with uh, Manchester City. That was very disappointing. Again, at the penalty kick, double tied, home 2-2, 0-0 two -two, zero -zero in, in uh, Manchester, and they won a penalty. So it's the second year in a row that I'm out of the semi-final. For now, I'm still uh, empty-handed, but I am first in the league. Managed to sell uh, Nets, because Nets had maximized his potential, was not growing anymore. So I made $40 million selling to Everton. And uh, I snatch for free this guy, S Smith Rowe, 24 year old, and actually it's an 81, and it's worth 42 million. I snatch it from Arsenal, 
he was uh, in a, in a aspiring contract. Amazing when you, you can get this uh, type of deal that you will never get in real football. And I loaned out. I, I bought this guy to replace Nets for 10 million. He's already a 74, but he's a great potential. I bought for uh, 10 million. And uh, yeah, these are other exciting prospects I bought. Mid December, I bought Orsic from Osasuna. So the season uh, <coughs> five is over, and uh, I finished uh, second place. Unfortunately, after leading the league for most of the year, I had uh, a slowdown in the end of the, of the league, and I was surpassed by Liverpool getting into the Champions League, which was the objective. Profit, so I realized uh, almost uh, half a billion dollar in profit, 490 million dollars. And now, because of all the money I generated, <coughs> I have a transfer budget of uh, 61 million. My youth academy, I have is half uh, full, but a few good potentials. Okay, so let's see, season six, we must win something. Because this year, great progress in the team in terms of evolution, but I got, I finished empty-handed. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.